If you asked Razor how he was doing, the standard response was, better than you, Chico. Hello, champions. So we're going to have a look at Hall of Fame Scott All. So he is a powerhouse. Let's have a look at his trainer ability. Coach at 9,000. Moves that generate green gems will create one more green gem. And green gems do 5% more damage. So basically the green version of the other uh, Hall of Famer for coaching ability only has link with the other all of fame which is any color move start with four more move points now let's have a look we're gonna see a whole bunch there's actually quite a few different moves that we can go with him uh, obviously not as good all from the others so let's see all right first one is gonna be red red black one this is the outsider's edge 13 mp red move finisher deals 142,000 damage and try to pin the opponent the belly to back suplex 8 mp red move deal 23k damage and choose one road to destroy and the foul away slam 9 mp black move deal 24k damage and make five random gems into red gems now this is the first version of this we're gonna see after that we're gonna see another one which i think is better than this one but let's try with this trainers for that we're gonna set them together because i forgot to do it before that it's going to be Bray Wyatt and Big John Stud. Along with Lita, because Lita adds one here. And we're going to put X back. There you go. All right. Well, we'll try this. So Bray, obviously, to start with more black to get that move going. Big John Stud to have more reds to get that red ready. Lita to have an extra here. And uh, X pack to help uh, match those reds. So let's see in practice how this goes versus Seth Rollins. So we're basically looking for a black match here. We do have a black match. Uh, this one's going to take away a blue item with it, which is always good. Well, took out a bunch of blue and green. And he just took out the other blue himself. That, that went like, that's as good as you get over a first turn. Like, it screwed him out of his MP and you got yours. Alright, let's put some reds on the board. We filled up both or moves here. Now, normally, had I not filled up the red, I'd go for the destroyer road to continue getting it. In this case, I won't use it because I kind of want to use it to reload my moves or help reload a part of it. So we're going to use the finisher right away, although I would expect him to kick out of it at this point. And he did. Okay, let's try not to destroy our colors. All right, so now pretty obvious which row to pick. This one has three red and two uh, black. That's gonna help both. It's not gonna fill either though. And now we'll get a little more red, which is going to give us a little more red. And we're done. 
That kind of went better than I expected it would. Although that first turn was like kind of way out there. <laughs> that was a really good first turn. All right, now let's look at a different version of this, which I think is gonna be a little better or, or at least more consistent because I wouldn't hope to reproduce something like that. Like I'm pretty sure if I did that match 10 times, I wouldn't have that result 10 times. All right, let's try that. All right, second move set for Scottall. Gonna be pretty similar. This time it's gonna be red, red, green one. It is again the Outsider's Edge finisher, a 13 MP red finisher, deals 142k damage and try to pin the opponent. The belly to back suplex, 8 MP red move, deal 23,000 damage and choose one row, one row to destroy. And the toothpick flick, which is a 5 MP green move, deal 10.6k damage and gain 5 red MP. Trainers will be using for that Sting to start with more red and Batista to have the uh, finisher do a lot more damage. As you can see, it brings it to 206k right now and my Batista is only at 5,000. If my Batista was at 9,000, it would do an extra 5% on the finisher and on top of that, it would also make me start with one extra red, which unfortunately I won't have in this case, which might slow me down for about a turn. Basically what we're gonna have to do is to fill that green ASAP, hopefully with a green match on the first turn, which is gonna give us the five MP, which in turn will make our finisher pretty close to being ready. Like we would be like a turn away, I think, with the, uh, with if Batista was 9k but won't be in our case but with that back to belly ready hopefully that row will be able to uh, get or uh, reds on the second turn to hopefully have the finisher ready on the third for over 200. If my Batista was 5% more at 9k I think the finisher would be like 211k or something like that. Uh, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> All right, coaches, we're gonna have the X Triple H and X back. Let's do this. Hopefully you won't have a dodge to screw the preview. <laughs> like if you dodge the, pre the finisher, that would suck. All right, so we don't have our green right there. Don't have any red either. We do have a free turn though. Which makes us get our green, so that solved that. And we're also gonna be one turn faster, just as if I had that extra red. Alright, let's get that red MP. So now we're basically one. MP short. Now, unfortunately, the, uh, you know what? I'm gonna take this one. The reason I'm not taking the one with more ear is because I only need one, and this is actually gonna start reloading my. I uh, don't know what the hell. I'll take the one with more just to start reloading that one, just in case. I want to play safe. There you go. And now we'll use a finisher for 206k. Did not kick out of it. He almost did though. He was lucky that he had a five match up there, but uh, that wasn't enough. So yeah, that's a pretty good spec. Uh, definitely worth making Batista 9k uh, as a trainer though, if you were to use that. All right, let's look at something completely different this time. All right, completely different moveset and uh, I, I don't know how it's gonna pan out. Like, I was trying a couple things. So this, and I'll explain after, is the Outsider's Edge 13 MP red move finisher deals 
142,000 damage and try to pin the opponent. The slaps 9 MP green move deal 26,000 damage and choose 5 gems to make into blast gems. And the toothpick flick 5 MP green move deal 10.6k damage and gain 5 red MP. Now, the original version of this moveset, because basically this centers around the blast gems, but you got a couple different like variations of this you could do. Instead of the toot flicks, uh, toot flick, toot pick flick that gives you the red MP, you could instead use the discus sponge, which is an 8 MP black move that deals 22k damage and make four random gems into greens. The problem with that is that uh, you're only making four randoms into green it's not choose so that's gonna make it really hard to get that green mp and if you do that that you're probably better off using rezzer as a trainer rather than as we will here with rusev this move set we're using steel to help get that green ready and rusev to make more blast gems and i even have rayon to make another one we're gonna make nine blast gems we should pretty much blow the whole board we got triple h to help reloading that green as well if i were to use that black instead i'd just for it to be viable i'd have to use rezzer instead of rusev which would still make like rusev when he adds what three so we would still make six which would still cover a good portion of the board and you would probably be better on instead of using the finisher to use the other red which is the row break so we, we might give that a try after but uh i think this has bigger potential mainly because you're gonna fill that like half of that red with that two tooth pick flick jeez i have a hard time saying that tooth pick flick and uh, whatever remains you should get from blasting the whole board with the slaps, which means that if you don't win the match blasting the whole board, you're probably going to win it the next turn with that 142k uh, finisher. So let's see if it pans out or not. So we're going to get a red here. We'll get the remaining green we needed here. I, I could even have another bunch of red right there. We're not going to use it right away though. Although, you know what? I'm going to use it right away just to do the extra 10k damage because I'm going to refill it anyway. Just blowing the whole board. So now we're going to choose our nine gems. That's going to cover most of it. Covers all the greens and covers all the reds. And let's break it. We even get a couple extras here. Ed did a 245k. And we had the finisher ready. And we had the other green ready to make more. So we were definitely in business, even if he did kick out, which he did not. So this, pretty damn effective. All right, let's look at the other way I was saying if that's viable as well. All right, last move set we're gonna try. It is gonna be the Outsider's Edge 13 MP red move finisher, deals 142K damage and try to pin the, the opponent. The Slaps 9 MP green move, deal 26,000 damage and choose five gems to make into blast gems. And the Discus, Discus Punch 8 MP black move, deal 21.9K damage and make four random gems into green gems. Little different than what I said we were gonna try. I said we were gonna try with the belly to back soup which destroy run one row instead of the finisher but I kind of like the finisher like 
we're gonna get enough red for the finisher just from the blast uh, unless we're really unlucky with the board so may as well go for that then the row which is not gonna give us like even though it's gonna help to reload the move it's not gonna give enough to reload either unless they're really close so I may as well go with the finisher and have just like a big bunch of damage ready to go so Trainers are going to be Bray and Rezzer. Uh, Bray so that we have four more black MP. Don't really care about the protect from green of 5%. Uh, Rezzer is going to make us do four more greens with the Disco Sponge. And we keep uh, Triple H and Ray, uh, Ray being to get one extra Blast Gem. So that's the setup. I don't think it's going to be nearly as good as the second one, uh, as the last one we tried which was the third but uh might still be viable let's uh let's try it okay we don't have black but we do have green Right now we got the black, so we got slowed by one turn. Actually, our green is ready to go already, so we'll use it. And there ain't a lot of red on the board, so we might have a problem there. I'll go here. And I want to grab that red right there. Actually, we'll put it there. That way we'll grab the black as well. That's going to cover all but one red. Fortunately, we did not have a great board for this. But we're still going to be good. Jeez, for a minute I thought we were going to get this. <laughs> Because with that black move, hopefully we're going to feel what the one we're going to be missing with the green and we'll finish it with the blast anyway. Had we got enough red, we might have been able to finish it with the red finisher already. Just going to let Seth do his thing. Um, let's try to get out of it with colors we don't do that much damage with to keep the ones that we do on the board. Let's hope we get at least one that connects with a green. We do. Crap, unfortunately that's gonna end our turn. <laughs> we were not lucky with that. So we got slowed one more turn. We gotta finish this again. Barely any uh, reds on the board. I'll put it like that. Can I re actually? I kind of like this one better. Okay, we'll break it like that. Refill the green again. And the, the blast move is definitely not hard to refill almost every turn, unless you really don't get that much on the board. That red can be a little tricky depending on if you have a lot of red on the board, but this definitely kind of works better than I expected. Although it might be a little board dependent. leveled up all right so that is it for scott all all of fame uh pretty good character uh i i'm not i wouldn't say that he stopped here 
maybe second tier, like upper second tier, because, I mean, he does have quite a few different moveset that definitely work. Uh, I had no issue in pretty much all the matches I tried, all four matches I did were pretty easy wins. So, yeah, definitely pretty great character and great coaching ability. Like, I, I love the coaching ability of my other Hall of Famers. So, yeah, this one on green, I mean, green is a hell of a often used color on pretty much all the best guys so that's it guys thanks for watching uh, he's getting released today friday so uh that's it all right thanks see ya if you're not already a sub make sure to do so to be kept aware when i post new stuff if any questions ask them and if you like the video leave a like and share see you guys Gio.